know what's up with men nowadays. It's different. It's different. They act like us. Today's video, I'm gonna give you all what you've been waiting for, a life update, q and A. I I haven't done one of these in a really long time. Where I have posted it a little while ago on my Instagram for you guys to send me a few questions. A lot of you did give me some juicy questions and some nice hot topics that I cannot wait to talk about. But before I get into this video, I am gonna be doing like a kind of get ready with me. Well, I just showered, I washed my hair, I did my makeup, the last thing I have to do is my hair. I had to put this in this video because I am using a new hair straightener from Tymo. You guys know that I love Tymo's products. I love their tools. I love everything they offer. You guys are probably wondering why I'm in the bathroom, but um, I do my makeup and I do my hair in the bathroom. So I am gonna be as authentic as I am. And I am going to do a little unboxing first. This is a new hair tool that I got from Tymo. It's the Air Hype. Thank you so much Tymo for sending this to me. I can't wait to try it. And I haven't tried it yet. So I wanted to give you guys a raw feedback, a true reaction to how I feel with Tymo's new product. And then we open it like a book. Fire! I love this. Ain't no hair dryer come like this. I mean, like the hair dryer I have, absolutely not. Here's the manual. Um, here's a little travel bag, I'd say. Like the hair dryer that I currently have did not come with no travel bag, which is another thing that I love about time over. Three attachments. You got a diffuser here, which is dope because I don't have one and I'm excited to use this. It comes with a comb attachment, which is pretty cool. I love that. Like none of my hair dryers come with attachments, so this is dope. And then it has the concentrated nozzle, which is fantastic. This is what my go-to, but I am gonna make use of all of this because I wanna try it. I'm excited. And this is what the hair dryer, the hair dryer looks like. Ooh, let me take it off. Here's the display screen, as the off sign here because it's off, obviously. And when I turn it on, I, I want you guys to hear how it sounds. It's not too loud, which is amazing because compared to my blower, maybe I should do a comparison because my blower is really loud. Like, that's the speed, you see the speed. Cool thing about this tool is that the attachments are magnetic which is awesome. Look at this. I love that. Oops, so I'm gonna part my hair now. I'm so impressed with how hot this little thing gets. It gets super hot and look how straight my hair got. This is what I'm getting used to because I'm used to like holding and controlling a brush, but look. That was quick. That was quick, okay? We're on to the next. That didn't even take me two minutes. guys it's looking good so far and I haven't added my Tymo oil which it's a smoothing and nourishing hair oil I normally put this after I do my hair like I'm so eager to try it I don't know if you're supposed to put it before but let's see yeah we'll put this oh, I'm just oh my god it smells so good I know I have to cut my ends guys don't come for me but I really don't want to. Oh, this oil smells so good. 
And it's so, it's not like thick. It's like literally slippery. Like I almost wanna rub it all over my hands. It's so good. I love it. Okay, I guess I'll put the residue on this piece. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's so quick to do. Like, I'm ready to go out. I'm ready for my movie night, okay? I'm ready to go and have fun. I'm out. So I'm going to do the other half of my hair. I'm going to just speed this up already. I feel like my hair looks fuller. It's beautiful. Okay, let me... Because I... I love this. It is amazing. If I can show you guys the look. You could tell, like, it's... Slippery, it's not thick at all. Now I gotta cut my puntas. I know once I cut my puntas, everything is gonna look better. But this is the end result of using air height. Enjoy the rest of the video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like, a comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to click the link in my bio now and get yourself the air height from Tymo or get any freaking product from Tymo because they are the best. Tymo literally has my hair looking so healthy, unlike the other traditional old blow dryers that are super, super strong and super, super hot, where it's like frying your hair, like mine, and I'm trying so hard not to use it. So that's why I'm so grateful to have Tymo's new air hype with powerful speed and it's not even frying my hair. It has a stable temperature. It is so crucial to have a low temperature hair dryer. That way you're not damaging your hair and your hair stays healthy. And that's why I choose Tymo and I know you will love it too. Okay guys, so let's get into this updated Q&A. I asked all of my followers on Instagram to send me some questions for this updated q and I know everyone's been wondering where have I been, why haven't I been posted, am I doing okay, am I dating, am I single, you know that's a lot of people were asking me that question in my last video. I guess a lot of you didn't get the hint, but we're, okay my dryer's done, we're gonna get right into this video. Are you and Marquise together? That is like my bestie. I love him to death. No, we're not together. Um, would you date a woman? I have. I have. Would I be in a relationship with one? Probably not. And I have my reasons why. Name top five favorite movie. I don't have a top five. I can't think of anything right now. But definitely 8 Mile and Save the Last Dance. It's my two top favorite. Um, why you don't go back to Chris Sales? Um, I feel like that was quick. <laughs> why don't I go back with Chris Sales? Um, I will always be his friend. I hope that he feels the same about me. I hope he will always want to be my friend. The same way I will always be his friend and I will always look out for him if he ever needed help or anything like that. There's no hard feelings here. Um, we had amazing times together. It was fun. So, I don't know. Laser or waxing? I've done both, but I prefer laser. I haven't done laser in a really long time because I got burned. She burned me. And she had scarred me for a long time and it finally faded away, thank God, because I was ready to sue. But I still have some sessions in. I'm just a little traumatized, but I prefer laser because it takes a really long time for your hair to grow back. And then it grows back patchy. Like, I don't think waxing really does that. It does, but not as much as laser. Are you linking up with Chris? I don't know. Maybe sooner than you think. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Um, are you still with Josue? No, we broke up a few months ago. So we 
I've been single for a few months. Oh wait, I answered the question. Yes, I'm single. I've been single for quite some time now. I've been single since, hmm, since like the end of November I've been single. So December, January, wait, I was in New Year's by myself. Look where my mind is at. My mind is all over the place. I was with my family. I'm saying like by myself, like I was single. That's what I mean. So, but I was with my beautiful family. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw that I was with my family. Um, and I had a beautiful time with them. I spent it beautifully. I was in New York for Christmas and for New Year's. Even though I had my Christmas tree up here, even though I wanted to celebrate Christmas here, it didn't go as planned. Um, I wanted to do it with my partner at the time and we split right before the holidays so yeah I've been single since since the end of November um, where am I from I'm from New York I guess I have new followers obviously I got new followers and um, thank you for tuning in thank you for watching this video I'm from New York but I moved to Orlando a year ago so I've been out here for a year now and I don't think I will move back to New York anytime soon, wherever. How old are you? I just turned 29, March 1st. So I'm 29, my last year, my last year in my 20s. Do you miss Chris? Yeah, that's my friend. If I haven't, if I built a connection with somebody and I haven't seen them for a really long time, yeah, I'm gonna miss them. Um, but we face them here and there where I always ask how he's doing from our mutual friend. And you know, we get a a little update on Chris and see how he's doing with his life. So yeah, I guess that means I miss him. I think about him sometimes. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to eat? Rice, beans, avocado, totones. I love totones and fried cheese. It's just my guilty pleasure. Like, it's bad. It's bad how much I eat that crap. Would you and Chris fix things as friends? I'm pretty sure he misses you. Yeah, like, I mean, I think we're cool for the most part. Sometimes we get on FaceTime together and we're chatting and it's like nothing happened. Like, we're cool. Do you plan on collaborating with other YouTubers? Yeah, maybe. I don't mind collaborating with other YouTubers. Um, of course, I want to be consistent on my channel before I do that. Um, not even so, because I could do that anytime. But I've collaborated with Shane and Liana and they are like my favorite YouTube couple. And I love Liana, like, she was there for me when I, need her, when I needed someone most. Liana was there for me, so I really appreciate her. She's a dope person. What happened with you and Josue? Um, for short, it just, it, it didn't work anymore. Um, a lot of stuff was going on in our relationship. Frustration, I had just gotten out of surgery. I feel like that was getting to him. Um with frustration. I don't want to get into much detail because it's my personal life and I don't think it's anyone's business really but um, I think just a lot of things was going on around the time after my surgery and it, it turned out bad <laughs> I guess. It didn't work. Now let's just leave it there. Uh, everyone keeps asking me if me and, Chris, me and Chris is friends or are we enemies. We're friends guys, we're not enemies. Um, I, like I said, I've always been his friend. Someone asked me, how's the love life? I'm not dating anyone right now. I am, I guess I am dating. <coughs> I've been on some, I've been on dates and I've spoken to people, you know, fill people out and stuff. I'm going to be, I think I need to have like a whole story time about this because, let me tell you. My experiences thus far has been crazy. It's funny as hell. Like, I don't know what's up with men nowadays. It's different. It's different. They act like us. If you know what I mean, they act like us. And maybe we'll do, maybe if you guys are interested, let me know if you want a story time about my dating life and how's it been going because I don't mind sharing that. Like, yeah, maybe I'll do that on the live or something. So we, I can get the feedback, so we can converse, we can have a conversation, some rapport going on because girls, guys, what is going on? <laughs> Favorite breakfast cereal? It was Cocoa Pebbles. And I don't, 
I don't think I have a favorite no more because I bought it here and I had it once and I'm like I like Cocoa Pebbles, I like Oreos I don't really like the sweets anymore How are you feeling mentally? To be honest, I feel I feel good I feel at peace, I'm happy I keep telling everybody this like I'm great, I'm happy, I'm relieved I feel like me um, I just don't want to lose this I don't want to give it up to nobody and you should never give it up your happiness your peace your sanity it should never be triggered by anything like I should always hold on time to this because at the end of the day um, all I got is me what's your ethnicity I am Puerto Rican but born and raised in New York City in the Bronx just wanted to say your smile is intoxicating thank you for sharing the good and the bad you're welcome. Thank you for appreciating it and thank you for your compliment. I really, really, truly appreciate it. Mwah. Um, are you single dating? I already answered that. How do you like Orlando? I am now starting to appreciate Orlando much more than a few months ago, which is crazy. I'm feeling more at home. I guess it's been already a year. I'm about to be here. I just resigned my lease again, so I'm gonna be here another year, so I'm getting more comfortable. I'm feeling like I can stay here. I signed up to a new gym. If you follow me on Instagram, I signed up to a new gym, and I am so hopeful that this is it. This is the spot for me. I am happy. Like the gym is fire, I'm meeting people, everything is going great so far. So I'm actually appreciating Orlando, Orlando so much more. I went to a a beautiful beach two hours away from here I went to it was a nice cute day I went on to Anna Maria Island it was magical it was like paradise and it's only a two-hour drive come on like there's no way there's no way I'm leaving this place when will you visit LA I hope very very soon because I miss LA I miss my girl out there I miss my friends out there and I love LA it's just that flight is dreading if it wasn't for that flight, I would probably be there every month. Your go-to person for advice is definitely my mother. It will forever, forever, forever be my mother. She's gonna be brutally honest. She's going to give me the best advice, period. My mom is my best friend, she's my everything. So, and she never steers me wrong. I should have listened to her. Today, I went to, I was on my way to Clearwater to get my lashes done, which is two hours away, and I rerouted it, and I stood in Orlando to try out this new girl to only get let down, and she couldn't even do my lashes. So that was, mm. let's not even talk about that, because I almost lost it. I almost literally lost it. I could give you another story time, because that shit, was, it went so bad. It went bad, it went bad. I got, that could be another story time. I have two story times. Dating life and my worst experience with the lash tech. Would you get back with Josue? I do not want to. I think that's a chapter that is closed. I've reopened it one too many times. What is your next international trip? I think I'm gonna go to DR soon. I've been there before, but I wasn't there long enough and I plan to be there for a long period of time. Can you post your workout routine and what you eat to stay fit? I am gonna do a video updated so I'm changing my diet. Um, we're gonna tweak this body a little more because you guys know that I'm dealing with PCOS and it has not been going well for me. It really hasn't. Would you ever talk to someone you met through online and get into something serious type of thing? I have. I met my ex online, I swear. I met him online <laughs> on Instagram. Are you happy in general? What are your plans for fitness line? Wishing you the best. I'm happy and I am about to drop a new color for Legly Bands. I can't wait for all, you, all of you to see it and you guys get it. Um, as you guys see, I posted a video working out with bands. And let me tell you, bands really do something to you. I woke up sore at, and I cannot wait to drop another line. I know um, some of you missed out on the black pair that dropped a few months ago, but I'm gonna drop another one. So stay on the lookout for that. Legs is coming very soon. How is your BBL going? Can you update us on YouTube? My BBL is going fantastic. I feel like I don't look too fake. I feel like I still kind of look natural, which I love. I know my butt looks a little bigger. 
um, but my hips aren't too dramatic, which is the look I was going for. I didn't, I was scared to look crazy. Um, but I feel good, I can sit, I can lay, my body doesn't hurt me. Um, yeah, nothing hurts me really. My, and my BBL is going fantastic, it's going great. I can work out, I'm lifting heavy. Um, I still have scars, my scars haven't really um, left. I have like the two dark ones right here that you kind of can see in some of my bathing suit pictures. And I have two like in my back which I kind of like blurred out so you can't really see it. But it's fading a little bit. I want it to go away completely because I really kind of, now it's bothering me because I don't want it there. Because you can see it in pictures, not unless I edit it, but yeah. What's the youngest and oldest age you'll date? I don't want to date anybody younger than me anymore. <laughs> let's just say that. And the oldest, okay, let's say this, probably not 10 years older than me. We'll keep it below 10. Do you still want kids? How do you feel about having kids? I absolutely want kids. I want at least two. I can't wait. So God blesses me with two kids, a beautiful husband, and a beautiful family. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. How do you get over and cope with a breakup? Time heals, ladies. Time heals. I'll do, an, I'll do a story time of how to get over a breakup for another video, but I know this video is going to be really long, so I want to keep it short and simple. Um, but time heals. Don't do not think it's the end of the world because it's not. Things will get better and everything happens for a reason. Just trust trust God, trust yourself, and just know that everything is going to make sense. Everything will fall into place. Do you enjoy being single or are there times where you miss having a person? I honestly, I enjoy being single because I enjoy the peace that I have. And I hate for anyone to interrupt my peace. <clears throat> and I love solitude. I don't mind it because I don't have to deal with anyone's energy but mine. What's the most important thing in the world to you? My family. Definitely my family. New video with Chris, explain everything. That would be epic. <laughs> I'll talk to Chris about it. 